What is up, Buff Nation? Welcome into DMVR Buffs Prime Time. We are presented by Illegal Pete's. Check out any of their 10 Colorado locations for happy hour 36 p.m. every single day. Jake Schwanitz joined once again by my friend Andre Simone. How Rocking the Pete's on... t-shirt. Yes. True, uh, to, true to the show. Do I flash the camera right now? Do it. Do it. <laughs> They'd love that. Nothing, nothing the chat would love more. Then for no hat, Jake, thank <laughs> to flash him. Yeah, Alyssa gets it. Alyssa for gets illegal it. Pete's too. Illegal Pete's, right? Exactly. Um, we should mention since we're getting into wardrobe right off the bat. <laughs> yes. We came in wearing the same exact primetime hoodie. We wore it on uh, DMVR bets, where Jake was uh, kind enough to fill in for RK with me today. If you're interested in NFL draft props, check that out. Some hockey talk? Um, hockey talk. I mean, <laughs> this guy, he knows ball. He knows puck. There are no limits to what the knowledge this man possesses. That one, we just wore the same outfit because it's a hilarious show. Why not? This one we had to differentiate because it's his show. I let him keep his outfit. I went with the coat I had over the hoodie because it's been extra windy. So uh, let me know what you think of the fit. <laughs> There you go. Yeah, huh? what do you think of the camo trench coat? Yes, yes, exactly, <laughs> exactly. Yeah, fill us in. But also doubling up with the abs, t-shirt, hat combo. Pretty good. Looking pretty good. And out of respect to my buffs people, no red. No, <laughs> no red, red for you. No, so we cannot that's, do that here. That was, uh, that was uh, all was considered in the wardrobe choices. Sean today. says Jake has a Stetson Stequavius Bennett fade. Oh, my god. Is that gosh. what I'm rocking right now? Um... A little bit. A little. Uh, maybe a little bit, yeah. I mean, if I only had an ounce of the amount of confidence Stetson Bennett has, I'd take over the world. Man, Stetson Bennett has some real qualities to him. <laughs> that he does. And then he kind of squandered it all, huh? Sad. Uh, Sad. There, the draft prop on DraftKings is for him not to be drafted as yeah. like the highest odds. Yeah. No. Sad. Very Sad. sad. Uh, this is a buff show. Let's talk about the buffs. It is. I was going to say, <laughs> what's not sad is all that's coming this weekend, Jay. Yes. And we have another loaded, loaded show today. Yeah. Um, we're going to talk about Chris Fowler's picture here in just a minute. We'll have a portal update, uh, a little Shane Hooks update, Bear Alexander update. Mm. Uh, our guy, Willie Gaines, who just committed, spoke with Adam Munster Tiger at 247 yes. Sports. We'll get yes. into what he said. Um. Yeah, just lots of stuff. Uh, but first, we start but off. First, let's go with our spring game news. We've done it, baby. We've done we it. We finally figured it out. Um, we're having a tailgate, <laughs> though. Um, we're going to be doing a tailgate right on the ca campus of CU lot 436N, starting at 10 a.m. The entry is free. Incredible. I am literally sending the tweet out from DMVR Buffs as we speak. Beer and food from some of your favorite local businesses will yes. be there. So say, maybe, maybe local some, businesses you've heard on this show uh, before. Huh? Say, yes. <laughs> Very good. Come um, and find out the food and the Buffs tailgate and DMVR at the spring game. All of that. Ain't hard to find. Not hard to find we, at we all. We stayed true to Coach Prime's yes. mantras. We, too, are not hard to find. And because we announced this later than we would have liked, we, uh, we're we making it so that you don't need to organize anything. You yep. don't need tickets. You don't need to worry about anything. Pop by, see No Hat Jake. I'm, I'm guessing you'll be no hat. Yes Hat Jake when they see. Well, who's this? Oh, my God. I don't know. Oh my, breaking unknown if he will be no hat or hat on jake when you meet him at the spring game tailgate get to meet rk and maybe super producer Alyssa and other amazing cast of characters from dmvr and we hope as many of uh, this amazing community as possible so For and sure. really just scratching the surface this is a little appetizer a little amuse bouche of what is truly to come for this buff season very excited, Jake. Didn't yes. mean to take over. No, I knew you were getting that tweet out. You did it beautifully. So, and thanks, there's thanks. more announcements to come, too. Oh, my. Yes. Yes? Yeah. All Some right. pretty big ones. All right. Yeah. Oh. Oh, I forgot about We're about to blow your mind. <laughs> we... Yeah. Blow your socks yeah, off. Stay tuned. A... These next two, three shows 
are must, must watch. You don't yes. want to miss any of this. Okay, Alyssa. Uh, sorry, Jake. I uh, Go, go uh, off, third King. Third wall. For so much of that stream, there was like a little like <laughs> Coach Prime right here. It was like, is that a <laughs> sticker? Am I simply losing my mind? And I see now that was merely a graphic made small on the screen and you <laughs> took it off. But I, I was starting to think only I saw that and it was becoming very upsetting. Yeah, so thank I you have for no idea that. what you're talking about. Yeah, no, of course. <laughs> of course. <laughs> um, weather updates. The snow is out of the forecast. Thank goodness. Um, but Big we're dub for us. We're looking at the lowest high of the next week and a half, though. So just keep that in mind. Keep that in mind, recruits who are visiting. Yes. This is not peak or prime April weather. It's, right. It's mid to low end April weather in, in Colorado, Boulder yeah. to be specific. For sure. Yeah. Giggity Giggity is asking, do you have a DMVR flag at the tailgate to look for? Um, we will have a booth, a uh, tent set up. Yeah. We have a flag. Sometimes we have like a little pop up. It's like a pop up banner, and that'll yep. have DMVR logos, flags, what have you. Yeah. Um, did you show the? Yeah. So there and it is. There's the map, and Jakester's got that tweet out. That'll have the map for you too. So look, it's right there. Yep. I mean, we're right off 36. So as you take 36, that road um, just to the very right of your screen is going to be Highway 36 on the way into Boulder. And then that immediate intersection right there next to lot 436 is Colorado Avenue. So it's literally right when you pull into Boulder. Um, coming off at 36, you'll hit Colorado Avenue as the first light. Take a left. Take a left at the next light. Boom. You found us. Amazing. Amazing. We ain't hard to find, they say. No, we are not. We are not. <laughs> official motto, actually. Um, so there you go. Check out DMVR underscore buffs. We got it's the exciting, man. I'm excited. Very exciting. Yeah. Very, very exciting. The full map is on DMVR buffs. Um, Sean Twitter. Camp says on Twitter, yes. yes. Sean Camp says hotels in walking distance. My guy is ready, ready to go. Sean, look at that. All the stars are aligning. <laughs> Love this. Boy. David's asking if Knucklehead's going to be there. Who's Knucklehead? Nux. 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 <laughs> uh, he probably won't. Probably won't. Oh, shame. Probably won't, yeah. We'll have a uh, we'll have to bust Nux out at some point, right? We should absolutely, but you know, bringing them to Folsom, there's there's one there's one mascot that rises above all. Yes, the glorious Ralphie. The glorious Ralphie, yeah. and she'll be there. Certainly not Chip. Chip should actually abide by that himself. <laughs> yes, <but>. he should. <laughs> you can maybe get some Nux sticks while you're there. Stickers. Yep. Yep. Absolutely. We'll have those. Absolutely. Yes. Uh, let's do this show then. What do you say? Why not? Why not? We've we've covered some good. <laughs> almost had some bets energy to yeah, open up. For sure. It's good. It's good. Yes. Uh that's Studio B energy. Yep, that that's is. right. That's right. All right. Um, let's talk about the buffs. Let's so do we saw Cordell Stewart yesterday talk to us to the media. Amazing interview. Again, check yes. that out on our YouTube page if yes. you haven't. He's apparently been there the whole week. Just hanging out with Coach Prime and just amazing doing Cordell Stewart stuff at CU. I mean, he's a legend, of course. Yep. Um, but he's seen a lot. Maybe some new uniforms. He was very excited about those. He seemed extremely hyped about those. Yeah. He also saw a lot of uh, uniform plans that can be public. And uh, one of those in a video, Alyssa, if you want to show that. Do we have it going? Mm. Yeah, bear with us just a second. So no gray, no gray on? The gray one went away. Mm -hmm. It's got some... It's been a lot of conversation around here. <laughs> well, I mean, it just, it just looked, like a, it looked like the helmet. I remember. So no gray, no gray So helmet. no more gray, helmet. gray helmets. Silver helmets, gray helmets, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> that well, looks like the three helmets like we're going to get. Like yep. White. Black with more of a matted black look feel to it, mm -hmm. and then classic gold right there. Yeah. Alyssa, can you pause it on those helmets? Next time around. Yeah, that's kind of the golden trilogy here. Boom. 
That black one looks fresh. Yeah. Yeah, it does. The gold's really popping in that. That one looks particularly nice. The white one, you can already see the visors. Uh, mm -hmm. The visors got a bit more of a shine to it. And then the gold one's a classic. You got to keep the gold. Of course. But do we Silver. think they're all... Well, no gray anymore. No gray. Do we get a surprise helmet, maybe? They were teasing, like, the gold chrome ones mm. before. Gold chrome. And there was, so those black ones, too, they had these, like, gold chrome face masks on them. There's wow. another picture of that also. Yeah. <sighs> I know. Those would look insane. Yep. And then could there be a, could there be a fourth, Jake? I think uh, Coach Prime has been cooking up at least one, probably more combinations up. Yeah. Some mountains talk from Cordell in that one video that we were talking clouds? about. Clouds? Clouds? Talk yeah. of clouds? And Cordell was like, oh, with the white helmet? Mm-hmm. I don't yeah. know. What are they cooking? There's got to be, I mean, mountains and clouds. There's got to be a flat irons like... Some type of uh, worked in, right? Like the backdrop of Folsom Field in some regard, you know? Got to be worked in the uniforms. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah, Brandon uh... says some comments are saying gray is the way. Gray is the worst also. A little polarizing, I guess. Yeah, no kidding. What, what did you think about the gray uniforms? I thought they were fine. I thought they were uh, a cool look. Far from my favorite, but I thought, right. you know, uh, far from terrible either. So uh, it's going to be interesting, but I know I trust Coach Prime to figure yes. this out and do whatever, you know, whatever he wants. He's going to diversify the look. He's going to have a fresh look one after the other, and mm -hmm. it just seems like they're really thinking it through. I loved what the um, equipment guy, you know, the guy who's mm -hmm. been helping out with the uniforms all around was telling Cordell about, you know, we want, it, it sounds like there's been some communication with, oh yeah, you know, um, Slash and some of the other alums yeah. and getting some input. And he was saying, yeah, we want that input. You know, mm -hmm. we're standing on your shoulders. So it's important that we are kind of, respecting or following in line with that you for know? sure I, I thought that was just amazing to hear. that's just kind of what coach prime has done though i know showing up i, I mean know. he's like successfully brought in all these old alums like kind of reunited all of them the mm -hmm. fan base mm -hmm. and like at the same time a new direction for the program right it's amazing right. stuff yeah it really is um we also do you want to do some sleuthing please let's please let's, <laughs> let's do this all right yes let's, uh, Throw up the Chris Fowler photo. So our guy, Chris Fowler, of course, is going to be calling the game for ESPN. Um, and we've talked about this, just the numbers thing, how it could be somewhat of an issue for these guys calling the game who obviously aren't as close to the program. And shoot, mm -hmm. even us people who are close to the program, uh, we don't even really know nope. like who's who really on the field. We've nope. got, what, 11 numbers given out? Yeah. Um, so he posted this and it's still on his, uh, Instagram page. This amazing, story. amazing screenshot. So we were wondering initially if this was a depth chart. I don't yeah. think it's a depth chart. We've got <sighs> Colton Allen and Drew Carter above Shador Sanders down there at the bottom at quarterbacks. Yes. Would be very shocked if that's the depth chart. That's That'd be a weird one, man. That'd be a weird one. And we were looking at the O-line, the O-line, while it seems lined up left to right. I mean, like Van Wells is all the way to the right side. Just Van would never start at right tackle. Mm -hmm. um, it's got names we've never heard before against, you know, like, like where's Savion Washington? Tank would be third team left guard. That doesn't make sense. So... <laughs> Um, and then you look up at the defense. That doesn't make sense. Then we were like, oh, some of these are underlined. Mm -hmm. What could the underline mean? Um, so, man, there's, I mean, we've been breaking it down like there's a Bruder film already. Yes. So some things we learned. Yeah. Uh, it looks like Owen Carey, another linebacker, number 10. Tommy uh -huh. Notoriani, number 51. Yep. Um, Moby Passerell in his 89. We knew that. 
says Leonard Payne. Okay, this is interesting because Coach Prime said that he wasn't going to be sharing numbers. Leonard Payne is given a 55. Yep. And Van Wells is given a 55. Van Wells were 55 last year. I mean, he was going to have to give duplicate numbers. He's going to have to. Well, why did he say he wasn't going to do that? I don't know. It's just, I mean. When he said that, was he implying on defense? Or defense offense aren't going to, but of course not. How could you? Exactly. So I don't know. Seems like a weird comment to make, but I know the man never lies. So, But he also said zero wasn't going to be given out, and Shane Cokes obviously is not given zero. Maybe this is just the spring game stuff, though. I mean, Maybe these are just spring game So numbers. we circle back around the spring game. You have to kind of have numbers just to help out these guys calling the game. Yeah, Maybe also, these are just temporary. Chris Fowler had to write these in himself? Yes. What's going on? Yeah, they're like written in a Sharpie. Like called them and gave them to gave these to him? Like, <laughs> I guess, yeah. All right, Chris, I got Hurtado's <laughs> number. But, hey, Chris, new number just dropped. <laughs> Leonard Payne, put him down for 55. Is this how this process is ensuing? What's going on well, right now? I mean, Chris Fowler, of course, a former alum too. Maybe he's got con- connects inside the program. One of the all-time greats. Yes. Beast. Yes. Um, maybe he's got connects no, other than I Coach mean, Prime in the program. Or like, hey. Breaking, he definitely has connects inside oh, the program. Oh, of course. Yeah. But number connects is different. <laughs> Jake would know. He too has because connects in the program. No numbers connect. No. That's, that's a step beyond. We're working exactly. on that one. That's the next step in the evolution. Uh, freshman Morgan Pearson, 46. Freshman Victory Johnson, 57. Taylor Upshaw from Michigan, 91. Jalen Sami, 98. Mm-hmm. Um, Tyler Brown, 56. Yep. Uh, Shador in the two, of course. Gerard Christian Lichtenhan, number 69. Yeah, um, Tank was 69. Yep. Yusuf M- Mugerbill. Mugerbill. <laughs> Moved 54. up 54. Um, All the quarterbacks have one with Allen 14, Carter 9, uh, of course, Shador 2, and Staub 16. Yep. Yeah, Leonard Payne with 55. More numbers for the linebackers? Yeah, the linebackers are really uh, filled out. Um, that's all we really got. Chat's though, talking about, was it the single digits he was talking about not having? Oh, that could be it. Any duplicates? Can you see that eight up top here? Top right? Right there. Oh. My uh, oh, that's uh, our jokes. guy, Oki Salavea, number eight. Oh. And then... 25, someone with Ryan in their name. Ryan. Boy, they've got a lot of Ryans on this Yeah, team. they do. I don't know. That's about all we could get from it, I guess. Fun to break down, though. Fun, Fun to, to break, break down. down. Yeah. Your biggest number reveal takeaway. Ooh, that's yeah. a good question. Well, you've been on it from the start. Um, Let's see. I mean... Well, Jalen Sami, did we talk about him? 98. 98. So he had to change his number because he was 99. He just goes one down, 98. Uh, he was shouted out right. by Coach Sal Sanceri on Monday. Because Shane Cokes took. Because Shane Cokes took it, yeah. yes. Um, big takeaways. I mean, Van Wells keeping his 55, I think, is that could definitely happen, yes. Yeah. Um, and who else? Um, Owen Carey with the 10, I think is interesting too. Mm. All these linebackers with lower numbers. We're yeah. not like hardly yeah. any forties or 50 linebackers. 20 for Bentley, 25 for ham, 29 for Hurtado. Uh, Aubrey Smith was 32 and now Owen Carey 10. Low number gang. Mm-hmm. Not bad. Yeah. Swami, Sammy, the only, uh, Oh, Upshaw looks like he got 91, huh? Yeah. I hadn't noticed that earlier. Um, yeah, so Sam is. is like the only returning defensive lineman. Oh, I mean, they're all in the portal. <laughs> yeah, I know. And They're so, all in the portal. <laughs> poor guy can't even keep his own number. Tank going with the 69. I mean, true dog in him type of move right there. Of course. Okay. 
All right, tons to get to still, but shout out to our friends over at Pins and Aces, the official golf apparel partner of All City and DNVR. Oh, heck yeah. Um, it's a little chilly out today. Maybe not the best time for Pins and Aces, but once it warms up later in the week. Oof. Oh, yeah. It's going to be great. Um, next week, we're supposed to be quite warm, too, so it'll be a great time to bust out your Pins and Aces. Polos, hats, golf bags, beer sleeves, all their great stuff. They're family-owned. And the business is based right here in Colorado. Yeah. Check out pinsandaces.com and use code DMVR to receive 15% off your first order and get free shipping. Again, that's pinsandaces.com. Also, shout out to our friends over at Fubo TV. Uh, the only place, really, the best place to watch the Avs and Nuggets on Altitude TV. Watched them last night. Yes, uh, sir. Watched the Nuggets last night. Go up 2-0 in the series, Dre. Taking care of business, baby. I mean, a win's a win. That's what they say, right? Yes, Even if it was yes. shaky in the third quarter? <sighs> look, it was shaky in the third, but it looked good in the fourth. Very true. That's what matters. Fubo has over 140 live channels of sports shows, movies, oh, and yeah. news. You can stri- stream live TV from any device. You can also redeem a seven-day free trial. No contract, no cable, no hassle. Head on over to www.fubotv.com slash DNVR oh, yeah. to sign up for 15% off your first month of Fubo Pro. Again, www.fubotv.com slash DNVR. Alyssa, we appreciate you doing mighty work on these trolls today. Absolutely. More than usual? Um, no. More than usually. Interesting. Hate that. Um and no Charles, we don't see a Zico number. No Zico number. Not Can't very tell many if that's things. covered or not. No, not a ton. Um Yeah, I mean he was it's almost like was he strategic in this reveal? Like he's just giving us O line, D line, some linebackers, and then just like little hints here and there. I mean, no single digits. Which is no of course single digits of except for the eight I was able to find. Oh, for um, Oki Salavea, right? Yeah. So our guy, or a lot of people's guy, earning a number. He was one of, uh, I think, last year's recruits. He was a true freshman last year. So we'll see. All right, we got a ton of Oki other Salavea, stuff huh? to talk about, Dre. Big old safety. Yes, he's a big boy. All right, um, where do we start? We start with Willie Gaines, who spoke to 247 Sports, Adam Munster-Tiger. Um, this just went up on 247 Sports, buffstampede.com. A few quotes. He was talking about how it all came together, uh, coming to Colorado from Jackson State. He said, it was rather easy because obviously I know half of Colorado's new staff that came from Jackson State. A lot of people don't know out of high school, I was recruited by Coach Sean Lewis at Kent State. I know with my talent and my ability, I can help Coach Prime and the offense over there, especially with the scheme they are running. Mm. It will be good working with Shador again. He always expected us to be right, to do what we're capable of doing. We could always meet up and go over the plays and the offense, get ready for the game. We would always put in extra work, even in the offseason. I'm looking forward to getting better and doing bigger things than we did last year. He also said, um, talking about potentially filling in as the returner on this team. As a punt returner, I take pride on getting to the other half of the field. As a receiver, I am really dangerous on deep balls, being a deep threat. And then just about Coach Prime, he said, it is great playing for Coach, Coach Prime because he's going to push you to the point of showing your true ability getting you to that point where you're doing what you are capable of doing on the field. He knows what I'm capable of. I know Colorado hasn't had winning seasons the past couple of years, but that will change under Coach Prime with what he brings and the type of mentality the team will take. I felt like I was pretty locked in last year, but I will lock in even more this year. I'm looking forward to getting started. Beautiful. He is very, very happy to be a buff. No kidding. Um, and just one more weapon to be added, one more speedster. And I like that he's talking about the return game yes. because let's face it, with, uh, I mean, all these wide receivers better find ways to contribute outside of simply being on the field as wide receivers because I don't sure. know how many four and five wide sets you're going to be able to do. And right. um, there's going to be a lot of mouths to feed. So, well, then also going off that, they, 
CU basically just lost their best kick return to the portal, if you don't count Jimmy Horn, because Nico Reed left. And he was really good there uh-huh. last year. Uh huh. Well, uh-huh. Jordan Tyson's going to be Jordan out. Tyson's you know, out, so yeah. that's a, that's going to impact things as well. For sure. So there's at least one role that we know Gaines can uh-huh. step into immediately, which is nice. Just plug in holes. Uh, CJK says 6 p.m. Shane announcement. That was the next piece of info that I had for you all. Shane Hook said, sorry for the wait on Twitter today. And then apparently there, 6 p.m. Is that 6 p.m. our time or 6 p.m. Eastern? Because that would put us right up to the end of the show if it's 6 p.m. Eastern. But, uh... Yeah, that would. He's been taking his time. You heard anything out of uh, Boulder on this? I've asked quite a bit about Shane Hooks. All I've heard is positive things, but he himself, Eastern time, so 4 o'clock. Hopefully Shane Hooks drops some news okay. for us. Okay, that'd be amazing. Um. Anyways, yeah, he is uh finally making a decision. It looks like. Yeah. That'd um, be huge. I mean, that'd be that big-bodied wide receiver. You. All, yep. You know. Six four, over two hundred pounds. So we'll see. Got Other it. piece of big news. Haas Fawcett, the graphic king from On Three, tweeted out a picture of Bear Alexander. The Georgia defensive lineman. Oh, yeah. Um, and there's, he put together a graphic of all the schools that Alexander has said reached out to him. Uh huh. CU is on that list. Yes. Um, I have heard, I mean, a lot of people are saying him to USC is already kind of a done deal. Um, but there's a lot of. That was the buzz yesterday, huh? Yes. There's a lot of interesting things to get into on this graphic. One, JSU's on there. Uh, <laughs> Wyoming yeah. and Memphis are on there. Yep, yep, getting some love. Yep, and then how about Nebraska on there? When and we didn't really talk about this on the show yet, but Coach Matt Rule at Nebraska, uh, kind of took a shot at Coach Prime a few days ago, saying like, "I heard other coaches are really excited about the portal opening. I'm excited about coaching our guys." Well, he's obviously pretty excited about the portal opening too. What a dirty liar and shot. Here. Yeah. Yeah. Also, you're never getting Bear Alexander, so give up, Matt Rule. <laughs> um, yeah, I know. It is it is interesting to include every single one of these squads, but, uh, you know, even Purdue is kind of like, ah, did we need Purdue on the graphic? But to each their own. Also, is that Georgia tattoo on his... That looks like it, yeah. Forearm. Is that part of the graphic or is that? Uh, Well, he's from Florida, so he could have grown up, I guess, a Georgia football fan. Probably not. Um, But yeah. Wow. Huh. Well, he might have to change that. And yeah, it, including JSU is just chef's kiss. Yeah. <laughs> pretty that's entertaining. Really, that's pretty great. Uh, Bear Alexander was a 2022 four-star recruit out of IMG Academy, 50th overall prospect, ninth defensive lineman, of course, committed to Georgia, and just entered the portal on the 17th. Um, if I had to put a guess on it, USC sounds to be in the lead. Yeah. But... We will see. He did follow uh, Deion Sanders Jr. on Twitter, though. Bucky. Bucky. We'll see. Awesome. Uh, next guy we have to talk about. Yes. Traquan Feagans entered the portal yesterday. Another Alabama cornerback. He was a 2022 recruit, 117th player overall, 14th overall cornerback. Yeah. 6'1", 181 from Alabaster, Alabama. Um, of course, committed to Alabama, but just entered the transfer portal yesterday. Uh, a top cornerback now on the market. His secondary recruiter to get him to Alabama. One Mr. Charles Kelly. Boom, boom, boom. Um, what's his size? Size 6'1", 181. Bigger guy. Sign me up. Sign me up. Would be a great That's what addition. We want. Yeah. How about... Go ahead. Is it harder to recruit a kid like that who basically has less eligibility than Carmani, Mm -hmm. same eligibility, one more year than Travis, one more year than Breedlove? Mm -hmm. 
I, I mean, mean, I guess he went to Bama. It's not like the competition right. was less stiff at Bama. Right. I mean, it, it was actually, but just slightly less stiff than Colorado's competition at quarterback. And if there's any... Just fun to say. There is. That is very fun to say. Yeah. But if you read into what, how Coach Prime has been like coaching these DBs at practice, he's been very, very hard on them. Obviously, a lot have entered the portal. Can't really turn down any type of talent that you can get in the portal no, at this point. That's a good point, though. God, I would love fewer under small speed guys and more big dudes. Yeah. Wayne Just want some beef. Wayne raises a valid point, though. Alabama's defensive backs did get absolutely cooked all year last year. Uh, I mean, what happened with Bama is uh, yeah. crazy. Because those two safeties are going to go really high. Mm-hmm. Eli Ricks was an all-world recruit who could barely get on the field. Kool-Aid is going to be a top oh, cornerback coming into next yeah. draft season. So I don't know. It's not like they were lacking talent. And I think the I think the front talent of that Alabama defense was probably worse than the back talent. Mm-hmm. It's yeah. been a minute. You know, Will Anderson, obviously, but there was no, like, big deal interior guy. Right. Yeah. Bam, Ohio State, these teams have kind of fallen off a bit in the trenches the last few years. Yep. It's been weird to see. It's like the Georgia Michigan era now. It it's is. Really strange. It is. They're the they're the big boys. Yep. Um let's talk about a Clemson player then. Another Please. team where the back end uh it's kind of dropped off of late. Yeah. Malcolm Green enters the portal. Yep. Was a twenty twenty four star. Safety recruit, 282nd overall, 29th overall safety from Highland Springs, Virginia, 5'10", 180, Dre. Um, committed to Clemson in 2020. Played there the last three years, but just entered the portal. From 2020 to 2022, 40 tackles, 4.5 tackles for a loss, 4 pass breakups, 1.5 sacks, 2 interceptions, and a forced fumble in 473 snaps in 29 games. With five starts, really kind of kind of reminds me of uh, Levante Bentley. Yeah, I mean, of course, another Clemson guy, but yep. like he got on the field a lot and wasn't really a starter mm-hmm. for Clemson, just like right. um, our guy Malcolm Green is. Green with a few more years of eligibility, though. Yep, gotta like that yep, for sure. Gotta like that. That safety room is so crowded. Mm-hmm. I would not want to be a safety on this program. Yeah. Because yeah. it's really, and you could be one of those two starters and then you're golden. Mm-hmm. Or there's going to be like eight dudes left on the bench who think they should be getting playing time. Right. Yep. And like Trevor Woods getting a number early on, like telling that had to have put a lot of these new guys on notice. Mm-hmm. Man. So, well, and just Jackson State, when Coach Prime came over to Colorado, like three of their safeties entered the portal. Of course, Cam. But, Shiloh, uh, Shil- well, Shiloh too. So four plus, and Shiloh's not even here yet. They're bringing Shiloh in at some point. We're assuming so. Um, yeah, we trying to play the first ever two, three, six up in, <laughs> up in here. I think we're uh, with the D line depth. You might just have to. They're going to be fascinating to watch schematically, defensively. Yeah, I thought you were going to say fast, and I was like, Yeah, well, they're oh, going to be fast. They'll too. be fast. Yeah, no, but, uh, fascinating. Yeah. Yes, for sure. Um. Yeah, man, it's different. It's different. Very different. Jacob Humphrey has entered the portal. Uh, he was at Jackson State. Played there uh, just last year. Mm-hmm. Played at 2021 at Tyler Junior College. And then I believe in 2020 at Sam Houston High School. I believe out of Louisiana. Okay. But this is a big boy. And we're looking for size on the defensive line. About we that. are deficient in size right now. 6'4", 3'02". He only played in one game last year, it says. Sign me up. Um, but there's some size for you. Mm. Wow, the trolls are going ham today. Yeah. Alyssa's earning that paycheck, that's for sure. Next guy. Wild. Danny Okoye. We've talked about this guy before. Uh-huh. He's going to be visiting for the spring game. 20, 24, four-star edge. 6'4", 241. 
Yes. Yes. Sign me up. Uh, 145th overall pro, uh, recruit, 12th overall edge from Noah High School, Tulsa, Oklahoma. At least, at least 29 offers. Um, Bama's in there. Nebraska's in there. Of course, CU is in there. Miami's in there. Michigan, Notre Dame, Ohio State. So in very high demand, but he's going to be in Boulder uh, this weekend. Just one of many absolutely elite recruits coming through campus this weekend. And we're not done. We have more. Yes. Cameron Pruitt, three-star safety. This is a high three-star. He's got four stars on 247 sports ratings. Mm. The 247 sports composite has him at a three-star. 440th player overall, 40th safety, 6'3", 187 from Theodore, Alabama. Has at least 23 offers. Bama, Florida, LSU, yeah, Maryland, Miami. I don't see CU in here, but he said he will be visiting this weekend. Yep, yep, that's pretty exciting right there. I mean, it's all that Charles Kelly. Yes, yeah, like, plain and simple. Uh, uh, how about a wide receiver though? Please, Kobe Howard. Uh, so the opposite. Of who we just last talked about. He's a three-star 247 sports player, but a four-star 247 sports composite player. Uh-huh. 6'1", 174 from Pensacola, Florida, uh, class of 25. 227th best recruit in that class, 33rd overall wide receiver. He has already earned at least 25 offers. CU's in there. Florida, Florida State, Georgia, Notre Dame, Tennessee, Texas A&M. Um, so there's the 20, another 2025 guy that'll be visiting. And then finally, Marcus Boswell said he is going to be visiting, um, in the 2024 class has not earned any stars or any type of rankings yet, but six, one, 200 pound linebacker from Austin, Texas. There you go. Right in the Longhorns backyard. Yes, sir. And then Chaz Wallace also said he's going to be visiting. He was the old dominion defensive tackle that CU offered. Love that. 6'2", 295, uh, played in 10 games last season, only had 19 total tackles, had one tackle for a loss, half a sack, um, but some more beef. He's only a so- was only a sophomore last year. That'd be huge. I mean, that'd be huge. I also think the transfer, transfer portal is going to be massive for the lines and just getting veteran guys. Mm-hmm. Like you just want more developed bodies, veteran guys. You're willing to sacrifice some exactly. extra years of eligibility to just get some guys who can plug and play right off the bat. And they've already been doing that at um, just these def- the front seven. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's all grad transfers. Like if you project the starters, it's Shane Cox, it's Leonard Payne, it's Jordan Dominic, Taylor Upshaw, mm-hmm. uh, Levante Bentley. These are all grad transfers. Um, so getting some older bodies, some more experienced bodies on the defensive line would definitely help. Um, one final piece of news before we get to your guys' questions, current CU commit Taylor Chandler, Mm -hmm. interior offensive lineman just earned his fourth star from ESPN and has been bumped up to their third center in the country in this upcoming class. I saw that. Not bad. More competition coming soon. Mm Mm-hmm. Any uh, any vultures on his uh, commitment? Kind of. He's going to be in Boulder, uh-huh. so as of right now, he's pretty locked in. There you go. Um, but of course, we're a long way out. Yeah. And uh, yeah. this weekend's going to play a big factor, I think, in a lot of these recruits. Obviously. Mm-hmm. Um. So we'll see how much that sticks with a lot of these guys. Mm-hmm. Specifically, the guys that have committed, uh, Talon Chandler and then um, Juwan Johnson, the four-star athlete cornerback, said he's going to be, or he's already here, I think, took his flight here. Not bad. Guys are showing up. Yeah, dude. I mean, it's going to be packed. And then mm-hmm. and you're going to have, like, the best of the best, guys like Williams Nuaneri, you know, yep. uh, in attendance. So, I mean, it's just Dylan like, Stewart, another five-star. Right. The full gamut. Mm-hmm. And then transfers, more veteran guys. Yep. Uh, and I've heard a lot of uh, transfers and recruits that have committed for this current class that aren't on campus yet will be there. 
Perhaps one Cormani McLean. Whoa. That'd um, be amazing. That would be amazing. I mean, yeah. When are we going to see like Weaver and stuff? Potentially we'll in a we'll see. Huh? Okay. Shout out to our friends at Bacchus and Shanker who win for Colorado families and have been doing so for 25 years. That beautiful sign right Look over Dre's right head. Right there, man. Um, it's a glo- Honestly, a really well done neon sign. It's got like the it's, clear plating back it's there. It's nice. You know a little something about neon? You doing uh, some neon installation some, back some in your neon day? Neon Dion. Yeah, that's there who I know about. Is. There he is. That's our guy. That's uh, our guy. Best part about Bax and Shanker no upfront fees to speak with them about your case. No fees while they work on your case. And no fees unless they win your case and win money for you. They have won over $1 billion for their clients and have neighborhood offices in Denver, Aurora, Inglewood, and Fort Collins. They help with all kinds of injury cases where you weren't at fault. Car accidents, motorcycle, rideshare, pedestrians, trucks. They can even help if you're injured at work. Hit that Shador line, 222-2222. See if you have a case for free. And hopefully uh, we don't have any cases potentially on our hands this upcoming spring game. We want a nice, clean, calm spring game. Damn straight. But if something does happen, you know where to go. Two 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 two. Yeah, anyone wants to mess with us, they got it. They got it coming. Yeah, we know what to do. We smash that too. <laughs> uh, shout out to Shady Rays, an independent sunglasses company who offers a yes. world class product. Yes. Um, and I cannot talk, I cannot say enough good things about my Shady Rays. I wear them almost every single day. I take them with me everywhere I go. They have uh, a new home next to like my wallet and keys. When mm-hmm. I leave my apartment every day, I know always where my Shady Rays are. Got to. Best part about them, if you lose or break your Shady Rays, Crazy. they have a replacement program, lost and, protect, lost and broken protection for you there. Um, you have up to 30 days to exchange your Shady Rays for a f- different pair if you don't like them. Um, it's a risk-free shopping experience. And exclusively for our listeners, Shady Rays is giving out their best deal of the season. Go to ShadyRays.com and use code DMVR for 50% off two or more pairs of polarized sunglasses. Try for yourself the shades rated five stars by over 250,000 people. Beautiful. Kaysen Wiseman will be there. He's been the leading recruiter for uh, the 2024 class, even though he's a 2023 quarterback. He's going to be there. Um, I saw your tweet about Kylan Fox. Kylan Fox is going to be there. Uh-huh. Yep. And then when he commits, he's going to be an ace recruiter for a yes. side. Yes. All in. That, Love me, Fox. There you go. Fox and Nua Neri are like the absolute dream. It's so I counted out yesterday. I think it's, well, it's more now. It was at least 13 blue chip recruits visiting. What's your standard for blue chip? Four or five star. Nice. Okay. Um, and okay. we just talked about what? <clears throat> Mm-hmm. Two four star kids. Uh huh. Um, and another guy who was three star consensus or composite, but four star 24 7. So, not bad at all. Um, question time. Question time. Question time. Shout out to Kelly, who's making um, a great point for us. And it's that a lot more of you are watching. Then have given us a thumbs up, so hook your guy up. You know, um, yeah. don't don't want to hear it from RK when he gets <laughs> back that my my numbers were soft. You know, I wasn't getting the thumbs up he can get. So I'll work help your boy no out if you can. Yep, yep. Um, yeah. Nicholas, who do you guys think is coming? Kylan Fox or Varkey's Gums? Based on Tim Brewster's tweet, I believe one of them is coming. Uh, Kylan Fox has liked a lot. Of Tim Brewster's tweets. And doesn't he go both ways? Athlete, little DN, little tight end? Huh? 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 Mm-hmm. Ooh, um, can happen. Can happen. I don't want to go on record, but I would feel very good about Kylan Fox. There you go. Off the record, Nicholas. Just for you, <laughs> he would say Kylan Fox. Okay. So um, love that, love that. Gums has been getting quite a few offers too, though. Like decent offers I've seen. He's going to be in high demand. I mean, I believe last year was his true freshman freshman season, mm-hmm. and the guy played pretty damn well. Um, he definitely earned himself 
some recognition, at least amongst mm. the college football. Uh, Cognoscenti. I'm trying to pull up his page here and see who's gotten offers from. Uh, PFF included him in a list of top available, top players currently available in the portal. Um, he got one from FAU, Arkansas. He visited there. Oregon offered him BYU, CU, of course. Um, already said Arkansas, Utah, West Virginia, uh, Cal. So he's getting quite a amount, quite a good amount of looks. Next question. From Giggity Giggity, are there going to be snacks at the DMVR tailgate? There will be food. We will take care of you. Actual food and beverages, Giggity. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Uh, PD Swag's back with a question. What's your guys' biggest hot take prediction for the spring game on Saturday? Thanks as always, guys. Thank you, PD Swag. Putting me on the spot? You're the one who um, covers them I don't know. day in, day out. <laughs> I don't know. Buy me an extra 90 seconds. Okay, Jesus. Fine. I don't know if this is really a hot take prediction, but I predict the player that we talk about the most is Dylan Edwards. I think he will rip off a series of big plays. And while a lot of the conversation will be about Shador, Travis, Jimmy, you know, the usual like three guys who everyone talks about right now, I think we're going to come away thinking Dylan Edwards is going to be an instant contributor for this football team. That's a good one. Um, I'm going to go Jeremiah Brown. Mm. Spring games, you can't even hit the quarterbacks. It's hard to make an impression right. as a pass rusher or what have you. I think after the spring game, we start to talk about JB as a front seven starter, essentially. I like that. Which they need because, I, I mean, boy, would they like to be able to Count on Upshaw and Dominic getting more, you know, inside reps. Right. Because JB's got us covered on the outside because right. they're lacking depth. They're yep. lacking depth on the line. So as many resources as we can dedicate to the pass rush mm -hmm. to maybe dedicate others to the D-line would be very welcome. Um, Coach Hart, when we spoke to him last week, did say that he expects JB to play on and off the ball quite a bit. He'll be a chess piece for them. Um, someone had a bold prediction that Ralphie may not run, I saw up there, because of the weather. Um, huh. Ralphie's got to get her spring game work in, too. Yeah, she's got to get her spring game work in, and the weather. Uh, Ralphie's running tough, tougher weather than this. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah, no, we, we can. Ralphie will be just fine. <laughs> um, 232 likes. Let's try to get to 250. Let's go. Come Alpine on. Garage Sports. Receive any hints on the structure and scoring of the spring game? I have not. I reg regret to tell you that. I do not have any information. I, I forget if I was with you or with RK. I think it was a show with RK. Neely jumped into the comments. And I don't know if he was more making a prediction or kind of giving more insights, but he was saying it'll be set up like an NFL preseason game. Like different teams, everyone's going to get reps, ultra competitive. It's on ESPN. Mm -hmm. Even the guys who are maybe wanting to transfer out will still play in it to then get transferred out, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. um, that would be cool. Yeah. But, uh, to see some like actual football being played, I'd, I actually want to see that. I don't want to see the glorified, oh, all right, eight plays for the offense. Here we go. Now first team defense out there for eight plays. Let's Let's get... Let's get into a football uh, mood here. Football rhythm. Football. Yes. Yeah. No, I'm with you. Uh, next question. Mac Mill, you guys think Shiloh will have to come in to earn the free safety spot? He's going to have to earn it for sure. But it looks like... Especially with all the competition they're going to have. Well, with that, though, I think there's going to be a lot of, uh, lot of safety rotation just throughout the season. Yeah. Yeah. Just not even just the starting two, but like... Coming in as the nickel, mm -hmm. um, maybe even some six safety looks. Yeah, right. The nickel or like mm, someone kind of gets a few linebacker reps as the week, yeah. you know. I don't know, but you're going to have to mix it up quite a bit to kind of 
make it so that everyone can get the reps. You know? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Um, no Dylan Stewart this weekend, right? Uh, Dylan Stewart is marked as a visitor oh. from uh, what I can see from a very good source. Look at that. Uh, HUD asks, will weather lose us recruits? Not to be negative, just saying. Um, it's not that bad. I mean, yeah, it's not going to be that bad. I mean, if what I think would be bad is if it was really windy... And if we got snow, and I don't think we're going to get either of those at this point. It's just no, be even the wind. Side. I hate this wind. It's I mean, so me too. Annoying. it's not great today. No, it's not great. I mean, again, we're looking at a forecast three days out. So who really knows at this point? I mean, it's already gone up a degree. Yeah. Um, I'm not seeing wind, but honestly, no, I don't think it should be. I don't think it should affect these recruits, man. Especially if they come in just a smidge earlier, leave just a smidge later. I think you'll see enough of a... Like, it just... It changes from one day to the next. You guys see it with those well-off videos, you know? Um, how it can go from snowy one day to sunny and, it's like, melting the very next morning. Yep. Um, and also, I mean, let's be real here. They're, these recruits are coming for Coach Prime. The, they're, the weather's kind of already like uh, they've already kind of kicked that um, that can to the curb, you know. Absolutely. All right, I'm pulling up Shane Hooks's uh, Twitter. Nothing on his Instagram. Nothing on his Instagram. Nothing so on Twitter. So we've got Luis here saying he's going live on his YouTube. Shane Hooks's. Uh huh. All right. Um, you can pull up another p question while we pull these up. For, uh, super chat from Alpine Sports Garage. Appreciate the super chat. Yes. By Sean, one Tom Collins from Alpine Garage. When he gets there, I couldn't make it. We'll take care of you. We'll take care of Sean, too. Big time. Um. Yeah, man. That's exciting. What else? Connor Kremers. Other than the obvious answers, who are you most excited to see in person? Um, player wise, because I can go a couple different ways here. Player wise, I am excited to see exactly what this offensive line looks like. What all the uh, hubba baloo has been about, you mm -hmm. know. Um, mm -hmm. I want to see who is actually working in there with the ones. That's what I'm most excited about. I think from a non obvious player standpoint, and yeah. then from a coaching standpoint, actually. I'm just really curious to see how this all like kind of works. Just obviously you could tell at Jackson State how Coach Prime coaches teams. He gave his coordinators a lot of control. So I want to see how Sean Lewis kind of runs his offense when they're on the field. Yep. I want to see how Charles Kelly's kind of doing that too. Yeah, I'll be really interested to see how Charles Kelly's coaching that back end. Mm -hmm. um, in practice, I was really in intrigued and impressed by how organized the back end was. Seemed like a lot of... Um, mixed coverages a lot of mixed personnels a lot of numbers on the back end so i'll be really intrigued to see that i cannot find shane hooks's yeah neither can i travis um, said alpine not alpine sorry that's my f1 uh <laughs> that's my f1 <laughs> verbiage coming that's up that's so true that's such a dre thing to do too <laughs> that's alpine <amazing>. apologies apologies <laughs> um do we have any more questions i swear tv Y'all doing a show after spring game or we have to wait for Monday? No, we will be doing a, a post-game show. He ain't hard to find. We ain't hard to find. Yeah. There will be news about that yes. pretty soon. Yeah, You'll hear about that. Yes. Before Saturday, for sure. Uh, Connor, any chance you get some returning players for an interview um, on the show? For sure. Um, I've already been in contact with some players, some some newer yeah. Um, that we can have on or at least interested in coming on. And then um, we can get some old players. We can get some players who are going to be potentially drafted next week, too, Ooh. on the podcast. That'd so, be amazing. Yeah. We'll have more coming for you. Yeah. I mean, guys like Hank, Trevor Woods, Lamonius Craig would all be amazing, huh? Mm -hmm. Tank. Tank would be fun. Shane Hooks 5 on YouTube. I'm going to give this one more go, and if okay. nothing's going on, we can bail. Like uh, he's definitely not live. So, mm. 
Are you even seeing the channel? Yep. You are. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay, cool. All right. Well, um, we'll see, but it seems yeah. like yet another delay in the Shane Hooks announcement. Huh? Yes. Uh, we'll be looking, I'm sure, just like the rest of you guys on YouTube as soon as we're done here. That's right. Um, there it is. Wow, no hat Jake. Did we get a no hat Jake? Not until the very last comment. <laughs> oh, B flow. Oh, Thank you for saying so. How something. far we've come. Hmm. Um, yeah. Don't know about hooks, guys. We're gonna follow along right now. Right on. Um follow DMBR Buffs on Twitter. We'd appreciate it if you guys also would follow the podcast. Just search buffs on your favorite podcasting app. Give us that subscription and give us a five star review if you've been enjoying the show. We'll be back tomorrow. Skull Buffs. Skull Buffs. Stay tuned. Rest of the week. Going to be amazing. So proud of these guys and everything they've got coming for you. Thank you for all the love and the likes. Really appreciate it.